masters and guests. Today I want to violate your mind spaces, to bring your minds to a realization. For that, I would like to start with a story. I met Lubna Khan at a volunteer organization. I went there to instill a sense of education in her mind. But in half an hour, that lady taught me how the world works. She was barely 21 years old, a petite 5 feet 2 inches, totally like me. She was headstrong and she would sit right in front of the class and engage in all the questions I would ask her. She was a headstrong woman. But her story got all the attention, all my attention, when she told it to me. She had eloped with a boy and got married to him. As a Khan, she came from a very conservative family. Things get started getting worse. Where is my shoe? Where is my where are my clothes? They started fighting. The abuse started getting worse day by day. She started to get a she decided to get a divorce. She applied for it in court, but there was no way she could get back to her house. So the court decided to send her to the institution, where she was waiting for the verdict. She told me her story with a huge smile on her face, from one year to the other year. And that scared me. It was hopeful to me. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my first crush with the word domestic violence. And that is just the beginning. She came in my life, that lady, just once, calling me every day, 11 a.m. in the morning, 11 p.m. in the evening. She just had one complaint. Her husband would fight with her. Her husband would talk in a very abusive tone. It was, it was torture to hear her. That day also they were fighting. They kept on abusing each other. The whole mohalla knew about it. What did the mohalla do? The ladies gathered and called her. They told her, he will become the man of your dreams. Don't worry, everything will be okay. Go to your house. She was crying. She was crying tears. She went to her house. Two days later, I got a phone call. She was no one. Deemed as a suicide. But I knew she was too pious and she was too independent to kill herself. To this day, I am baffled that being right in the middle of it, hearing her every day on the phone call, I could not find a label for it. I could not find the label domestic violence. And it happens to most of us. We hear it. So I decided to start my research. What is domestic violence? According to the Human Resource Commission of Pakistan, there are, from 2004 to 2018, only 2,423 cases have been registered. That is like a drop in the ocean. I believe. So, what does that mean? Either people suffer in silence or they never are reported. They don't like to report it because of societal circumstances. So, what can I do as a person who is an outsider? I decided to go on the behavioral psychology of the site, of the whole thing. What makes an abuser? Who, who, who is an abuser? Who becomes an abuser? There are three things who make a person who is an abuser. He, he shows, basically. He depicts very little self-esteem. The innate desire, an innate desire to control one's part and uncontrollable emotions. Unprovoked. How to stop this? I decided to look on further. How, how can I stop this? 
Again, I found three ways to do it. I decided to look beyond. Support and educate people. That is one way I can do it. Look for changes in behavior from a near and dear ones. Emotional behavior changes, physical behavior changes. And the third and most important, listen. Listen to the child, listen to the man, listen to the woman. Give the most important thing that is done to the people who matter the most. In the words of Karen Salmanson, sometimes people do not talk to you because they want your help or sympathy. They just want to kill the emotion by hearing it. Over to you, Toastmasters.